Hi everyone, just a quick reminder that if you want to follow along the journey of making this dress in real time with me, both on Instagram and YouTube, then please consider supporting me on Patreon. You get to choose how much to pledge per month and you will receive live updates both on my close friends Instagram stories and access to all of the YouTube videos right now. Hope you enjoy the video. Hi guys, it's now Sunday the 3rd of May and this has been draped on my dress form overnight and I've just come to it this morning and all I've done is marked at the side seams so here here and then the same on the other side here and here where I want the actual waist to be um, I've measured across along here and across the back to make sure that both of those measurements add up to be more than my natural waist measurement hopefully that should work and the other thing I've done is also measured from each of those pins down to the bottom of the skirt and I'm just doing that to make sure that those pins are even on both sides um, so originally when I cut out this skirt there was 50 inches um, lengthways up and down but putting the pins in here means that from the pin down to where the satin fabric ends is 47 inches. So that's what I'm going with. It does mean that the skirt will be shorter, the train will also be shorter, but I'd rather a shorter train than this. <laughs> um, so what I'm going to do now is take this off the dress form and I'm going to lay the skirt out on the ground and try and match up the two pins in the front and the two pins in the back and then cut off all of this excess material up here that I don't need. And the reason why I'm doing it off the dress form is that I've realized by doing it on the dress form, some sides are not pinned correctly and they're going to fall and drape a bit more that way, whereas some other ones are hiked up a bit higher and it's just not an accurate depiction of where I should cut. So I think that's where I made my um, mistake the first time when doing this section as well. So that's what I'm going to do. I am probably not going to film myself doing that as such, um, simply because I have no idea what I'm doing and filming something where I really, really have no idea what I'm doing, it freaks me out, stresses me out. So I'm just going to do that off camera and I'll come back when I've made some progress. So what I've done is I've chopped off that. <laughs> so I've basted all along the edges to keep those um, layers from shifting. Obviously I haven't gone through to the other side, so it's just the single layer of cotton and a single layer of um, satin uh, basted together with the purple thread just to hold those pieces in place. I pinned to make sure all of these waistline markings were matched. They weren't completely matched, I mean, they were off by like a few millimeters here or there, but I think that would be fine. And then as for cutting, I just cut off two inches further down from that waistline, which was not actually the waistline. And then I just quickly measured across here and across here is 15 inches, which means that yeah, double that and we've got 30 inches, which should be good considering, um, I, I think the waist when I'm corseted is 26 inches. So that means we've got an overlap of four inches, which should be okay. But the good thing about this is that I can always go a bit deeper as well. So yeah, it will be more than 15 inches across here. Um, this is how the skirt is looking like when laid out on the ground on the fold. 
just in case you're curious about how everything is pieced together. I am really pleased with how all of these seams turned out. Well, I mean, it's a little bit of fraying, but it's much better than what it was before. So next I am going to, I just need to do the waistband. I don't know why the waistband is causing me so much trouble. I also do want to put in a pocket. I think I mentioned that yesterday. So I'm thinking the pocket would go, whoops, I just stepped on a bobbin. Uh, the pocket would go just beneath this side opening. I'm thinking it would go around here. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. And I'd probably just put one pocket in the right hand side of the dress. Oh, and then as for the, the old waist, um, waistband. So I had already sewn the cotton tape and the ribbon, but I really want to reuse this cotton tape. So I might just unpick all of this stitching, which is really tiny. Hopefully I can uh, salvage this cotton tape. And then as for the ribbon, I might just chop off here and here and then salvage the ribbon that way. And then that way I'm only losing this much. Whereas the cotton tape, I really want to keep that whole piece because that's really where the strength comes from. And also I don't have that much left on either side. That's the only cotton tape that I have apart from the thin cotton tape, which I, I would prefer to use this one. Or maybe I could use the thin one. We'll see. Um, I'm going to... The other thing I was thinking of when I was thinking about this last night um, was when I was doing this and I was doing facing for the front waistband. Facing should be like you face the inside of the garment, not the outside. So I had already um, stitched this the wrong way anyway. So I'm not going to do that again. And I'm thinking because the satin and the cotton together is so bulky, like, well, it's not really bulky, but when you add it to that waistband and then considering you turn the edges over, then you literally have like six layers of material together at one point. Um, and that's at the waist as well. So what I'm thinking is just using one layer of cotton material and then facing this curved portion of the skirt. Maybe. I'm still thinking about it. I'll get back to you. my waistband pieces and then ironed them, basted them together and then cut off the any excess material around the outsides. Uh, these pieces are three inches wide. Last time I cut them four inches wide and that was just way too wide. So hopefully three inches will be better this time around and I have cut them out more neatly and I have taken the effort to properly baste them nicely unlike last time. Um, I've decided I'm going to hold off on cutting out the pocket piece because I figure 
I just need to get the waistband on and once I've got the waistband on then I can worry about other details and such. Um, yeah, I just want to focus on the waistband, I can only do one thing at once. Um, so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to place this skirt onto the dress form and make sure that that is actually where I want the waistband to be. Um, I'm thinking perhaps maybe the front and the back might be hiked up a little bit more, um, especially since there is this insert into the back of the dress. And if I hike it up a bit more, then it will have a bit more of a, um, it'll have a bit more volume, I guess, in the back. And same goes with the front. Um, it wouldn't be as flat and straight if I hike it up a bit more, but we'll see. I'm going to go put that on the dress form now. I've just pinned it onto the dress form, inside out obviously, because this way I can actually put markings in if I need to. Um, that's another thing that I've sort of learnt from with using a dress form. Pin on it inside out because it's so much easier. Um, so what I am thinking is there seems to be a good amount of overlap between the back and then the front panels. So the back comes to about here and then the front overlaps to about here. Um, so there's that much overlap. Um, you can see it's a bit loose in the back because this dress form is like super duper skinny. Um, so yeah, I'm accounting for the fact that yeah, I need, I need that space. Um, and also this will probably not overlap as much on me, which is fine. Um, at least there is a good decent overlap. You can see that outline of the back panel coming through there. Um, I'm thinking, so that's where the opening goes down to. The pocket would nicely fit just here, I think, in there. That would work. Um, as for the front, I did actually hike it up a bit. So I'm going to trim this um, edge just slightly following this purple line. As for the back, I don't think I'm going to hike it up because I actually like I actually like the smooth line that just goes down and out um, rather than if I were to hike it up. Hang on, I don't know if I can show you this. You start hiking it up. I don't know, it sort of brings all of this towards the back and I sort of want some of the volume towards this out towards the sides as well. So I'm fine with leaving the back a little bit more flat, but I definitely think there's going to have to be some sort of, um, I looked it up last night, the word is bustle pad, some sort of um, bum pad on the back there. Um, so yeah, I'm going to trim this part down just a bit. And then as for everywhere else, I think I'm pretty much, I might trim some of the, this back portion as well maybe, just a tad, um, just so all of this um, edge is lying as straight as possible, I think. And as for the length, the length has definitely shortened a bit. Um, this is the side front seam here, and you can see that it's not even touching the ground. I did hike up my dress form, um, to be the height that I would be if I'm wearing heels. So it looks like this dress will be a tad too short in the front, um, or at least the side front, but whatever. That's okay. <laughs> um, yeah, I think that's it. Actually, what I'll do is I'll just take out those two front pins and I'll show you what it looks like from the front if I don't hike it up. So that's what it looks like when it's hiked up. Uh, you can see there's some nice drape going on and that's what it looks like when it's not hiked up so still nice shape like a nice a-line shape but there isn't just there isn't to me there's not enough draping happening in the front so I do prefer to hike that up a bit and then it will form those really nice drapes so that's what I'm thinking for that so I've just hiked up the dress again and I've put three pins in there and pretty much all of this is level. Um, I don't want to muck around with it anymore and I don't want to mark down further down just in case that's going to like lose more length off the dress, which I don't want. So I'm just gonna go with this line here, which is the raw edge. 
as my waistline and I'm like I've already laid it out on the ground and everything and I measured it so it should fit. I'm just hoping for the best at this point because I can't afford to like chop down any further into the waistband otherwise the length will decrease. So I'm just going to take this off the dress form now and start attaching the waistband pieces. What I've got here is my dress laid out on the ground. That's the train, so this is the centre back. And here I've got my waistbands. Here's one, and here's the other one. And here are the waistlines. So this is the back waistline, and that's the front. Um, let's start with the back just move the front one out of the way for now. Okay, so here's the back waistline. And I am literally just going to pin my waistband on top, straight across. Wow, didn't I cut that close? Look. <laughs> well, good thing I've got just enough fabric. Um, I'm going to place the lining of the skirt to the right side of my um, waistband. Um, and I'm just going to fold that in half so I get where the center is. So that's the center there. And I'll pop a pin in there. And I'm just going to continue pinning all the way along. So this is the situation I've got going on. I've just pinned the waistbands on. Um, I tried to keep everything even on both sides, like if there was a little bit coming up here then there would also need to be a little bit coming up over this, the other side. Um, and hopefully that will look okay. Um, I'm actually thinking of basting this before I put it under the sewing machine, just because I'm really paranoid that I'm going to mess this up. Um, hmm. Yeah, I'm going to baste this um, and then after I've basted it I'll trim off the excess or just a little bit of the um, excess seam allowances that are coming out of place like they're a bit wonky and then I will put it on the dress form once more and if I'm happy then I will go ahead and sew it. So I am going to do voiceovers from now on because I wasn't diligent in filming little updates here and there. Um, so the rest of this video will be voice voiceovered. Is that a word? <laughs> anyway, um, as you saw, I trimmed off the seam allowance and then put it under under the sewing machine. Now what I am doing is trimming off uh, some of the excess seam allowance at that seam. Um, to make sure that it's not as bulky um, at that point. And then I think I was just trying to work through how I was actually going to do the waistband. What I thought would work best is um, like sandwiching the cotton tape in between the seam allowance that I just cut and then sewing the seam allowance to the cotton tape and then that way it would be extra secure 
um, all around the waistline and then covering that cotton tape with the uh, satin fabric like you see here. So that was my idea, but as you can tell from the title, this whole video was a fail because I ended up not liking it. Reason being is because this was super bulky, um, considering you've got all of the seam allowance sandwiched in there, you've got the cotton tape which is already quite thick itself, and then you've got the addition of the cotton broadcloth layer with the satin doubled over on top of that, as well as all the seam allowance as well. So it ended up being really thick um, and it just was not what I was after. Um, so yeah, that's it in short. If you want to like skip over this video because um, it means nothing <laughs> and it ends up all of the work that I did here um, ends up being chopped off. Actually, it does not end up being chopped off because what I end up doing is basically unpicking all of the stitching along the waistband that I did. So that includes all of the stitching that I did to actually secure the cotton tape to the waistband. Now, I did this because one, I didn't want to lose any fabric length off the skirt. So trimming off the waistband would obviously shorten the skirt even more and at this point I had already lost quite a bit of length so that was the main reason and then the other reason was because I only had, um, I, I didn't have that much cotton tape left. This was the only cotton tape I had left at this point in time. I did end up going to the shop to buy more. Um, because I realized I, need co I needed cotton tape for something else. But um, yeah, I wanted to salvage the, the cotton tape. The other thing is the cotton tape had already had its hooks and eyes sewn to it and the edges folded over and sewn so they don't uh, fray. And I didn't want to do that again either. So I actually went through the trouble of unpicking all of the stitching. Anyway, that's that. Um, there's not much else to explain here as to what I'm doing. Um, it's pretty self-explanatory. Um, here um, you can see that I salvaged the ribbon and I just sewed the two pieces together with um, a lot of zigzag stitching to make sure that that was secure. And then I could sandwich that ribbon in between those layers at the front panels of the skirt. Now again, like the cotton tape, I ended up taking out the ribbon. Um, again, I unpicked all of the stitching because I did not want to lose any more length off the skirt. Um, again, I just did not like how, uh, like, I didn't like how bulky the waistband seams were um, for both the front and the back panels. Um, you'll see what I end up doing in, uh, the next video I believe or a future video as to what I ended up doing uh, rather than sandwiching the cotton sorry not the cotton tape the ribbon in between uh, the seam allowances there um, but this was the same sort of thinking that I had with the cotton tape um, yeah I'm basically just going to leave the rest of the clips um, in and I'll just have music going over the top um, so you can see what I ended up doing that I ended up taking out in the end um, just if you're curious but you can see here what I'm doing is sewing over the top of the seam allowance to sandwich the whatever um, whether it's ribbon or cotton tape whatever it is that I'm using as the securing method um, that's what I would sew down into the seam allowances to make sure it was extra secure. Um, I did a couple rows of stitching, which meant it was even more work to unpick all of those stitches. But hey, it is what it is, and I learned from my mistake. Um, yeah, so I'll leave it at that for the voiceover and the rest of the clips, you can see what I did and ended up undoing. <laughs> 